Hi Leo, this is going to be your general love reading for April 2022 and it is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. And it is a general reading, so that means it's not going to resonate for all of you. That is perfectly okay. But if you'd like a personal reading, you can find all the information in the description box. Also, the roles can be reversed because the reading is general. So let's see, Leo, what is going on with you in April 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. For the situation, Ooh, five of cups crossed by the two of pentacles. Okay, you're feeling a sense of grief. Um, it could be you, could be the other person. Somebody here is feeling um, a deep sense of grief, a deep sense of loss. Um, and having a little bit of a hard time coping with it or, you know, really finding their balance because of this loss. Um, so it could be that there has been a separation or maybe you've been in separation or maybe there's a realization yet, yeah, you know, this is just done or there's something here. Um, for another group of you, it could even just be guilt and trying to cope with some guilt, okay? But I mostly feel like it is a sense of loss. So for your energy, we have the Eight of Swords. Interesting, that's the exact same position that we had this card for Aries. So maybe some of you are dealing with an Aries or have strong Aries in your chart. Um, the Page of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so when it comes to either communication with this person or with there being some kind of movement or progression, I feel like you're, you're just feeling like you're at a dead end or that there's just no way around this or that there's just no solution. Um, just feeling trapped in all of this, possibly even if this is you feeling this grief, feeling trapped in this, in this grief. I do feel like, you know, you, you are making progress as time goes by you are moving in that direction of, you know, finding the stability within your own self. So yeah, just, you know, I feel like the message here is for you to just be a little bit patient with yourself. Let's see, for them, we have the Three of Pentacles, Judgment, and the Ten of Cups. Okay. It feels like this person is um, either trying to make a decision here or some kind of a discernment, possibly between two situations, one which feels more practical um, and the other which is the Ten of Cups. Because judgment is right in the middle here, so it really feels like there's this, this deep evaluation um, that's happening at the moment. And it could even be just about love in general and what is or isn't practical or who they can actually connect with. Okay, we'll see more when we clarify. Um, for the potential outcome here, we have the Eight of Cups, okay, which is actually really positive and I do feel like that is um, referring to you mostly, being able to emotionally detach in a way where it's going to help you to feel better regardless of where this connection with this person ends up all right in the future because i feel like right now you know you're you're kind of stuck in this eight of swords and i see you as i said before um moving away from that so this is actually a very positive card to get here um let's clarify So let's see the Five of Cups with the Two of Pentacles. All right, the Queen of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, and the World. Okay. 
So it's like, it's interesting because I feel like on the one hand, um, you're feeling this deep pain, right? This deep sorrow. But on the other hand, there's a, there is a part of you that just wishes this could um, be done with so that you don't feel this way, that you could just close out this, this chapter. And I feel like, you know, you're, you're kind of waiting for that, for that to happen or you're waiting for something, some kind of a cycle to end here. If it's not necessarily about you and the way that you're feeling, it could be um, just waiting, waiting for this person. Waiting for this person to come in, maybe for some of you, um, an earth sign. Um, so it's one or the other, and, and for some of you, it could even be both, like just waiting for something to happen. You know, whether that be this person, you know, um, comes in and, you know, we find some kind of a resolution or whether it be you putting an end to, to the grief that you are feeling about the loss of this connection. So it could be one or the other or both for each of you. If this is you. But I do feel like for most of you that it is, it is you unless the rules are reversed. All right, so let's see for the Eight of Swords. The Magician and the Page of Pentacles. Okay. I feel like the more that you... Um, That more, the more, it feels like the more that you try to take some kind of a step or the more that you are occupying your mind with this, the more that more of the same is being manifested. It really is um, more in your control, the way that you're feeling, than you think, which I know can be like... Um, it's an annoying thing to say, <laughs> um, but that's what I'm seeing here. Let me see. Let me see that page of swords. The ten of swords and the eight of cups. Yeah, because you, it's, okay, it's just one of those readings where it's like, I'm trying to find the right way to say the messages that I'm getting here. Um, it almost feels like, you know, there may, there was a time, okay, this might not be happening now for some of you, but it feels like there was a time where, you know, you would be okay with just anything like just any, any little offer from this person. Um, and I feel like that's actually one of the, one of the blockages here for some of you. Um, I do see you moving away from that and you are, okay? You are moving away from that because that was actually causing you more pain. It was like this, um, the more that this person, you know, didn't give you what you want, the less and less you were willing to accept. It's like your standards were, you know, um, dropping because of that. I see you coming out of that. I see you moving away from that. It's it's a slow process, but you are. It's like small steps, um, but I see you um, wanting to move away from this and wanting to accept, you know, um, at some point that, you know what, maybe, maybe the, I just have to accept that this is done for now, at least. Because it may or may not be, but um, sometimes at a particular point in time, we just have to take it as that. So that's where I see you moving towards. And even though that can be a painful thought, it's like when it actually happens though, like when you are actually accepting of that, it's actually easier than what you initially thought it would be. And I feel like that's what's throwing you, um, after that, it's throwing you on this right path. And for some of you, this might have already happened and you might already be here. 
in this Knight of Pentacles, but if you're not, just know that you will get there, okay? You will get there and things will be a lot easier than, than what you can even imagine. All right, so let's see the Knight of Pentacles, <laughs> the Eight of Swords again, and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, really interesting. Um, so yeah, I feel like this is what you're moving away from. See how this, it's like the, the Knight of Pentacles in this card here, moving away from that Eight of Swords, right, which was the first card out that we had for you. So it's a slow process, but yes, you're moving out of that. And it's because, you know, you're going to stop overthinking things, stop overanalyzing things, stop, you know, um, wanting to constantly find out what is going on with the other person. That's, that's where you are. That's where you're moving towards, or that's where you already are. Moving away from this, moving away from the, you know, overthinking and analyzing. So let's see what's going on with the other person and let's not forget the roles can be reversed so this could be about um, the person that you're dealing with for some of you. Alright, so for the other person here, the Three of Pentacles, we have the Eight of Pentacles and the Chariot. Okay, so yeah, see so this is someone here who on the one hand there is Something to do with practical issues. Um, it could even be work, um, finances, projects that they're working on with others. There's there seems to be a lot of focus on that, or just on on having to work a lot. Um, and I feel like there's a lot of there's a lot of focus that has been placed on either working or working with other people or on just practical issues in their lives. For some of them, this could even be something new that showed up and that has taken a lot of their attention and focus. I don't know, let's see judgment. The Ace of Swords and the Three of Swords. There's a painful truth that is popping up for them. So there's some kind of a revelation that is happening here and I feel like that is what is pushing them to have to make some kind of a decision, having to make some kind of a discernment because something, something is showing up, some kind of a truth and it's not going to be an easy one. It's going to be something that initially um, conflicts them a lot or is even painful might even be related um, to whatever this is here whatever it is that we were talking about before with the practical issues let's see the ten of cups the six of cups and the king of pentacles <laughs> And even though, I mean, the pentacles are, you know, mostly earth energy and we do have quite a bit of earth. So some of you might be dealing with an earth sign. Um, I do find it very interesting that the only queen and king that are out on the table here are the queen and king of pentacles. So it's like the perfect match here, right? Which also to me talks about a very committed um, couple. So yeah, there's some painful truth that is coming up to the surface here and there's a discernment being made again it's it's between this other situation here that seems to be more focused on the practical um so much so that it may have even been like i'm even getting like a distraction so then it's like that focus transfers over to love to true love and to where it is that this person really wants to be um committed and with the six of cups also being here i i do get that it is um with you because i feel like i mean this is something from their past this ten of cups and i feel like you are in their past because of this five of cups you're feeling this loss um definitely a deep soul connection here with this person so are they 
making some kind of a move here? Are they taking action towards you? To be honest, it's going to be different for each of you. I don't necessarily see this person um, taking action in all situations. Some of them might, um, but definitely the main point here is this judgment card something coming to their awareness which is creating some pain and i do feel like that truth has to do with this other situation here so then their focus is being more um more like transferred over to the connection with you so yes i mean that could lead to some action in the in the near future but at the moment it's them making this discernment between the two energies here so let's see the Eight of Cups for the potential outcome here. We have the Wheel of Fortune, the Four of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. Something is definitely shifting. I feel like, you know, um, by mid-month April or by the end of April, it's going to be different for each of you. There's Things are going to feel a lot different than what they feel right now. Um, there's a shift that is happening. I feel like you're you're going to become a little bit more indifferent because you are emotionally detaching from this. And because of that, well then, you know, then there's like a lot that actually could happen. This Eight of Wands is signifying this potential for some action, for something new to come in, or even if it's this person, like this, just this new energy concerning this situation to come in. Because the Eight of Wands, I mean, that's a very action-oriented energy. But it's only coming in when you um, detach, when you walk away, when you let this go. And I feel like, you know, you are going to be, you're going to feel better because you're going to be more indifferent to this. You're not going to be in this grief that has been here. All right. So the last message here for you is adventure. Dare to do things differently. Manifest your travel dreams. Move to a new location. Okay, so you can take that literally or figuratively, all right? I feel like the important message here is dare to do things differently. And I feel like, you know, that's actually true um, for you, that it would help you. And it could also be true for the person you're dealing with. All right, Leo, those are your messages. I thank you so much for watching and much love.